many times it will be hard but you have to be disciplined and make sure that you are not leaving your basic duties your basic rights in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow the basic commandments ود كثير من أهل الكتاب لو يردونكم من بعد إيمانكم كفارا حسدا من عند أنفسهم حسدا من عند أنفسهم من بعد ما تبين لهم الحق فاعفوا واصفحوا حتى يأتي الله بأمره إن الله على كل شيء قدير وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله إن الله بما تعملون بصير why am I not seeing the results? Where are my results? So in these verses, we learn three key themes here. First and foremost, that yes, while there are many non-Muslims who would let you live by your principles and values, there are a huge majority of them or a wide number of them who actually want you to follow their principles, follow their paradigms, follow their values, and they're not going to leave you alone until you do that. So that is the warning and reminder in that that we have to be cautious and we have to protect your own values. The second thing here is that many times you see people trying to do that. Sometimes it's a war of ideas and propagation and propaganda and you know, uh, transmitting different ideas and so on and so forth. Sometimes it can be physical force as we are seeing around many countries. So the baseline here as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is that Many times it will be hard, but you have to be disciplined and make sure that you are not leaving your basic duties, your basic rights in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow the basic commandments. And that is the establishment of the five daily prayers and giving the zakah, you know, spending your wealth and giving your time with focus, with presence of heart, so you are performing the salah. So this is really important. Sometimes people really put it down and like, what, what is this going to benefit me and so on and so forth. And they are missing their salah. So imagine you are missing a salah every day. That's 20% of your ob obligation. You are missing day in and day out. And you don't even think about it. What is the excuse in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That yes, we can raise our voices, we can think about the people around the world, we can think about all the debates and all the ideas, but I can't step away from whatever I'm doing and give 10 minutes in prayers. What does that tell you about yourself? So that's something really to think about. And then knowing as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah is able to do all things. If Allah wants, things can be all changed today. But the question is, what am I, what am I and you doing about it? And lastly, Allah will establish his commands. Allah will establish his decree to nothing will happen except by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And lastly, there's this notion of, well, I'm making an effort or I was making an effort for years. I'm not seeing the results. Allah is not guaranteeing your results tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. But what Allah is promising you is that your efforts will be safeguarded and your reward, your return is preserved with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is all seeing of what you do. So let's make sure that what we are doing is worthy of being seen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.